Hello and welcome to this exercise on circles and tangents. It is an A-level um, type question, like also 11th grade geometry or algebra and IGCSE additional mathematics. Now, this is the question here. and I find the language of this question a bit, a bit quaint. Uh, it says, a circle connect of whose center are both positive. Now, all that sent to us is that the circle is in the first quadrant. Okay, and then he said a circle touches both axes of coordinates, which means that the, the y and the x axis are both tangents to this circle here. And it says if it also touches the line at 3x plus 4y minus 6 is equal to 0, find its equation and the coordinates of its point of contact. Now, uh, this is my interpretation of this question here. Now, that's my circle, and that's the y axis you can extend that if you like. And that's my x-axis extended as well. Now, firstly, I've changed this uh, equation here. I've re rearranged the equation to make y the subject. And that's what it got here. Next, I need to define my circle. And to define a circle, I need to find the center and the radius. OK? So if this is a tangent, the x-axis is a tangent and y, the y-axis is a tangent, the point at which this circle touches the, the x-axis must be the value of the x-coordinate of the center. Similarly, where the circle touches the y-axis will be the value of the y-coordinate at the center. And of course, all these coordinates, the both coordinates must be the same here. So the coordinates will be we also be each of the coordinates equal to the radius of the circle. So R sub x is the x coordinate of the center of the circle, while R sub y is the y coordinate of the center of the circle there. So R sub x, R sub y, and the radius is R. Now to find the radius, we use this formula here. When we bring, when we bring down the, uh, the general formula for the equation of a straight line, in this case the tangent here, divided by the squares, the sum of the squares of the coordinates of the x and y values there. And don't forget plus or minus there. So uh, the square root of 25 is 5. So we don't have, right, so sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> step ahead with myself. Now, what we then do here is that we change this x there to r because this x would then be the x coordinate of the center of the circle there. And this r there, the green r will be the, the y coordinate of the center of the circle there, there. Okay? And then we end up with uh, plus or minus 5r is equal to 3r plus 4r minus 60. Okay? Firstly, if we use the plus 5r, we end up with uh, 5r r is equal to 7r minus 60 and using the plus 5r we end up with 60 is equal to 3r plus 4r minus 5r because when the plus 5r goes across the sign we change. So we then have that uh, 2r is equal to 60 which makes r is equal to 30. Similarly if we use the minus 5r this time around when it goes across it becomes plus 5r so we end up with 12r is equal to 60 and i is equal to 5. So we now have two circles now with the equations x minus 5 all square plus y minus 5 all square is equal to 25 and x minus 30 all square plus y minus 30 all square is equal to 900. Now we need to find where the circles touch the line uh, 3x plus 4i minus 60, this line here. So what I'm going to do here is what I call the trial and, trial, trial and improvement method. I know it's not very elegant, but there's another slide um, where I do the mathematics. Okay, so I've now created a table there. Now, if the center of the circle is at 5, 5, there's no point using an x value of less than 5 because that's greater than 5 there. Okay, that's greater than 5. So if we try x is 6, now to make this zero there, I use the value of y of 10.5. That will give me zero there. Now if we if I then substitute x is six into the smaller circle, 
and why is 10.5 to the smaller circle? I end up with that 1.25 and that's too big there. So I increase my x value, I reduce my y value and then try it on there and I get 0 there. If I try 89 into this equation there, I get 25. So that's okay. So the small circle and the line we touch at the point 89. Now what about the big circle? Now I try 10 and to make this 0 there, I use the value of y of 7.5. Now that will give me 0 there. But if I then substitute the value of x and y into the bigger circle there, I get 906.25 and that's too big. So I now increase my x value and reduce my y value there and I get 0 there. If I substitute x is 12 into the bigger circle and y is 6 into the bigger circle, I end up with 900, so that's okay. So the bigger circle and the, uh, and the line 3x plus 4 minus 60 also meet at the point 126. So we've got the point 89 and 126 for the small circle and the bigger circle respectively. Next slide. Right, by substitution, um, we've got this one here. If we substitute this value of y from the line into y there in the equation for the smaller circle, we end up with this one here. So all that there from 3 over 4x plus 15 is my y value minus 5 there. Okay, so we now have, uh, when you expand this bracket, we get this one here. And that now becomes this one here because 15 minus 5 gives me 10. Now, if we then expand these brackets here, we end up with 9 over 16x squared plus 20 minus 3 over 4x. Now, the 20 comes from 2 times 10 times the coordinate of x, which is minus 3 over 4x there. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, 15x there comes from divide 20 by 4, we get 5. 5 minus 3, 5 times minus 3 gives minus 15x there. Okay, now if 25 goes across to the left hand side, the sign will change. So it becomes minus 25 plus 25, that will cancel out. Okay, now 10x plus 15x equals minus 25x, and we've got 9 over 16x squared there. If we then multiply every term by 16 to get rid of this one here, we end up with 16x squared plus 9x squared minus 400x minus 600 is equal to 0. Now don't forget 16x squared plus 9x squared give me 25x squared. So if I divide every term by 25, I end up with uh, x squared minus 16x plus 64 is equal to 0. If I now factorize, I end up with x minus 8 all squared. Now because I got, I've got a repeating root there, this one here, it means that that must be a tangent there. So the circle and the, uh, the line must touch at the point uh, with x coordinate of 8. Right, if we then substitute uh, the value of 8 into y is equal to minus 3 over 4 x plus 15, we end up with y is equal to 9. So now the line and the small circle we touch at the point of either the point 8, 9 there. Now you can try this out for yourself to find the where the uh, bigger circle and the line touch. Now if you now draw, plot a graph of the circle and the tangent and the two sec and the two and the bigger circle, we end up with this, and this conf conf confirms what we've already got. So please, please subscribe, and I hope that makes some sense to you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye now.